Hi, my name is Eva Grazel. I am a stage four survivor of oral cancer. I'm 25 years cancer free. Radiation to the head and neck has a long lasting effect. My neck gets very stiff over time. My tongue gets stiff. And these are some of the exercises I do regularly to keep the blood flow, the stimulation in this whole area. So let's do it together. Start with your neck. The first exercise is simply to turn, to stretch the side neck muscle. Just hold it gently for a second. And then of course, do the other side. Oof. This is the side with the surgery and this is the side that is particularly stiff for me. So you could be doing this really any time while you're stopped at a stoplight in your car. Okay, that's the first one. The next one is to hold one shoulder back and look away. Of course, I feel the stretch in my tongue because this is so stiff. Ooh, there you go. I feel that whole stretch into my mouth. Okay, and then this side, this side's pretty good, but this side really needs it. Okay, next exercise is basically to stretch your head back. Now, I have to support my head because I only have one neck muscle. Uh, ah, stretch your mouth open. Okay, yes, stretching your mouth open is the next exercise. Okay, once you've stretched your mouth open, the next exercise is to use your tongue to massage your mouth. Now, I can't really reach on this side because my tongue's been reconstructed. Uh, I can't push out at all. So I'm going to use my hand to do that manually. Now, since I've just touched my phone and I, I, I'm not washing my hand before touching my phone, I'm going to just glove my hand. But... This side I can massage, and the other side, all of it really. I typically do this when I'm in the shower, my fingernails are short, my hands are clean. I actually massage the whole inside of my mouth. So you can start by massaging your tongue. I'm telling you, that feels good. Ah, my tongue is stiff. Okay, then massage your cheeks. So pull your cheek out from the back forward. I really do prefer using my thumb and using my thumb on this side, but I only gloved one hand. Ah. Ah. I can't tell you how good that feels. Now, very gently massage your gums. Now, don't do this if you just had surgery. Do this a few months later when you start to feel ready and ease into it slowly. I've been doing it for a long time. So, ah, okay, massage your gums. Now, go over that retromolar pad in the back. Uh, massage the inside of your gums. Okay. I like to use my thumb. Uh-huh. Uh. My top doesn't need it as much because mostly from here down was radiated. So my lower, I always spend more attention to. Okay, now that you've massaged your mouth, uh, you could do a couple of chin tucks. This is just, this is just good for how we're always hanging our heads forward. So, and it also, as you can just see when I do it, it does work these muscles a little bit and the muscles in the back of, to hold your head up because well, with one muscle, uh, you gotta practice it. And then the last thing that, oh, then I do some resistance training. So in other words, 
I use a spoon. You could use a tongue depressor. I sometimes use a butter knife. Now, a butter knife is totally not sharp, so you don't have to worry. But the way you do resistance training is you put the spoon on top of your tongue and push up. Then put the spoon under your tongue, push down. Put the spoon on your side of your tongue and push towards the spoon. And the same on this side. So let's try it together. Okay, you can hold it, but I'm not gonna do it for the video. That's hard. Uh, now I use a little baby spoon. It's like a, it's like a little sugar spoon or something. It works great. Then the last thing you want to do is massage your face. So now I use some uh, vitamin E oil or whatever oil you have. You could use olive oil. You could actually use Vaseline. You know how they say how good that is for your skin. Okay, so. I put it on my face and my neck, as you can see. Okay, now, of course, I can massage with my hands, but I find that it's not nearly as effective as using the gua sha stone, you know, these stones. Okay, so it's just so much better. So I pull up on that jawline. Mm, mm. Okay, now you could use these bumps in different ways. Mm. Anyway, this is just great for your skin in general because it brings a blood flow, blood supply to your skin. But the best part for oral head and neck survivors is the neck. Okay, typically you want to stroke down Oh, God, this feels so good. This side is so tight. So look, I'm really going towards the back here on the back side of the sternocleidomastoid muscle and then coming forward. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, that feels great. Oh, God. Um, you can see how red my neck is getting. That's really great to bring a blood supply. Now... I have a lot of wrinkles and yeah, it's genetic, but it's also, it's also from radiation. So I will actually, you know, use this stone all around here, but mostly for head and neck survivors, it's getting the muscles around the jaw so that you could open and close more easily. Well, there you have it. Those are my exercises for head and neck cancer survivors. Let me know what you like. I'll put all the notes below so you can follow it that way too.